Antherea perni is also a very popular species for hobbyists to breed. And in China and in India and other parts of Asia, people um, are breeding millions of these individuals for the production of silk, but also for human consumption because their pupa are edible. But the drawer of this week is related to this moth, but it shows you something that most people don't know yet. This is the drawer of the week. And why did I find this particular drawer interesting? Because of this. This is what we call the Anterea harti. However, Anterea harti, while some people consider it to be a different species, is just an alternative color form of the Anterea perni. And its color form is found in the Amur region and in China. And it's very interesting to me because it's a very pretty color form with golden wing edges. So it's basically a special chocolate color version of the regular and common Anterea perni, called the Anterea hearty, okay? And here in this drawer, I found these Anterea harti. And what's interesting is many people in Europe have also bred this moth, um, but it vanished completely from the market since decades ago. So, if you have a lot of experience with breeding silk moth in captivity, and maybe you're one of the people of the older generation, then you've been lucky enough to raise it in captivity. However, me being just 25 years old, I never had the chance to try. And this is probably because the bloodlines died out in captivity, although undoubtedly people in China are still breeding them. In Europe, they are not. So that means it's probably going to stay a rare color form for a while. The biology is, however, exactly the same as Anterea perni. And although the appearance is different, the biology and the origins of this insect are exactly the same. So here we see a comparison. This is the normal Anterea perni, and this is the Anterea harti. But actually, technically, both are just Anterea perni. This is just a very nice color form. It's very obscure and not very well known. So that's why I selected it. And I thought it would be interesting to make a video showcase of it. And maybe, just maybe we will be lucky enough uh, to see this insect reappear in the breeding uh, scene in community because all it takes is for someone to bring back eggs or cocoons from the relevant geographical region for us to be able to breed this insect again. Thanks for watching.